Welcome back my friend to another reaction video. Hope you're having a good day and if you're not, I hope it gets better. This video's from Police Insider. Man thinks he can attack cops without consequences to what we're watching today. Let's go! On July 15th, 2024, officers responded to a fight in progress. While en route, they learned that the suspects were separated, but quickly located one of them near the area. We're gonna be out with the male white subject. Where's the other guy at, man? Do you remember me? I gave you a ride to your house? David, right? David, is that your name? David. Is your name David? David. You right? You want to take a seat? Take a seat. Take a seat. Yo! Whoa! Taser, 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 Responding officers correctly identified the suspect as David before the unprovoked attack. David continued to be uncooperative by not responding to any directions or questions. Good. Stay down on the ground. Don't try to get up. Stay down on the ground. Don't. Stay. Stop. Uh, see you guys and that's why you shouldn't do stuff you ain't supposed to be doing look man I'm saying that because this guy is not drunk. Okay, if this guy was drunk He surely couldn't be trying to run around like that swing He was under the influence of something else something that took that boy out of the earth into Mars or something like that and he thought he was Facing aliens or something man. He wanted to take them down no matter what <sighs> Wow, he's about to get a lot of charges on him Oh, man, he sure is, man. And you know the sad thing about this is that the police officer even said, I think I know you. I gave you a ride last time, remember? David? This guy did not recognize that police officer for sure. I wonder what he's on, because that was crazy. He was in the zone to defend himself of, a, of ghosts, demons, or something. That was crazy crazy bit okay let's get back to the video bit but um i'm glad the police officers in a way use the tasers i think in, in other situations uh if a police officer was unsettled would have probably started shooting him i'm just saying i've seen videos like that where you know hey man you don't know he that that police that that person could have swung and hit the police officer in the head then the police officer would fell down hit the concrete and you know, people pass away, you guys, when they hit that head really hard on the concrete. I do, because I have experienced that. At least I didn't go to another earth, though. <laughs> and it's not, it's, it's not cool, okay? You get memory loss for a couple of weeks. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, and you still kind of don't remember how it happened. I'm telling you from experience, okay? It's bad. <laughs> Stop resisting and stop trying to fight us. You understand? Did they hit you? Not too much. 
Stop. I knew when he had his clenched fist, he was yeah, I saw him up. too. That's why I backed up from him and waited for you. Hold on, hold on. Well, he's still trying to fight. He's trying to get he's off. Still so trying to get he's going at both of us. Alright. Hey, who's your right there? Who's 57? Oh, yeah. My uh, keys fell down somewhere. I got this. You guys okay? Yeah. Hey, you done? He's not here under arrest. He's not talking at all. He wasn't talking at all. Hey, come on, open up the spot. Come on, open. Sit up. Sit up and be good. Sit up and be good. You good? Yeah. What's your name? Let me make sure he doesn't have any weapons on him. Hold on. Hold on. Do you want to have to come to booking or you want to here? Come here, Come here, Come here, Yeah, these are David. Inside the squad car, David kept repeatedly striking the partition with his head. The officers, fearing an in-custody injury, then arranged for David to receive medical attention, which he protested to and ultimately declined in an aggressive manner. pray for this man right here because whatever he's been doing is not helping him a lot man it's taking over his brain his soul all i think he sees is darkness and evil around him and i'm saying that because yeah that, that guy is not okay man uh, and another thing i wonder if the other person that he was fighting with i think he, if he just ran up to the guy and just started hitting him out of nowhere or her i don't know if it was a guy or a man that they were they say in the beginning because the way he attacked the police officers i'm, I'm guessing that's why you got in a fight? Uh, guys, uh, he can't be nothing else besides something that's not alcohol. Okay, I can't say because of YouTube. But, uh, yeah, he's like a zombie right now, you know? Like, but I, uh, uh, you know, there's the zombies that you see when they take that F thing, you know? And they're just like that. And then there's the other type of zombies that take the stuff that's like World War Z, that movie where the zombies are just coming at you super quick and you got to be like fast to react and de defend yourself like david though oh for the police officers like i said to know i mean i guess he, they must have been getting him rights a lot you know interacting with him a lot uh i've seen other videos where there's people that are homeless and stuff and some police officers are real nice they try to help them especially when they're on stuff i've actually seen a video like that where they they came across this guy that was on really on some stuff man and uh he had no pants and everything. The police officers gave him some pants and then tried to take him somewhere to, you know, to be all right. So I'm guessing that's what that one police officer knows them, right? But it gets to a point, you guys. Police officers try to help people, but then, then people, when they're on stuff, they don't remember them. They don't care who they are. They're just trying to lash out. And that, that's what's going on here, man. Oh, I wonder what he's on, though. Maybe they'll say it, you know? Because, uh, yeah, you got to stay away from that kind of stuff, okay? You know, don't be turning into an aggressive zombie. I'm just saying. What? Is he trying to write something? Oh, yeah, cool. 
Sit down. Sit down. Okay. Nope. Here, it's a great thing. Yeah. We're going to check you out real quick. Okay? Hi, David. My name's Emily. Okay, I'm with the fire department. What's going on? Are you having any pain anywhere? Looks like you got a pretty good sized bump on the front of your forehead there. Does your head hurt at all? Oh. You just you check you out. Off, man. Man. Off. Off, David. We gotta make sure you're okay. You got a pretty big bump on your forehead. Check your BP, man. That's it. Sorry, sorry. Settle down. Hey, guys, very much. Stop. Relax. Relax. They're just trying to check you out. You don't want them to check you out? You good? Yeah. Okay. Relax. They won't check you out. I got it. I got it. Set it this way. Start calling. Shift. David, if they can't assess you, you're going to have to go to the hospital more than likely to get evaluated there, man. Listen, if you answer some of their questions, it goes easier and smoother. I know you're frustrated right now, but if you can just work with them, they just want to make sure you're safe and make sure there's nothing more going on, okay? They're here to check on your well-being. So all they're doing is basic. They're going to check your blood pressure, some of that stuff. They're going to ask you some very basic questions. That's all they're doing, David, okay? They just want to see how your vitals are doing. If you let them do this, this process goes quicker and easier for you. Does that make sense, David? Is that something you can agree to do? Can they just check your blood pressure? Is that fine? David, if you're not able to answer this question, my man, we're going to have to take you to the hospital and get further evaluation. Yeah. We don't know if Stop. Don't headbutt me like that again. Relax. What do you guys need to do medically? So, we'll have to take them in, um, obviously. We need more people. And then probably go over. The 28-year-old suspect, David, was charged with battery, aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer, and resisting arrest with violence. In this next case, officers deal with a biker who had fled from a traffic stop earlier in the evening. On July 18th, 2020... Whoa, whoa, oh, we're getting double video up in here, you guys. Oh, it's a special. Hey, look, before we continue to the next video about this biker guy, my thoughts, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think down below. If you think the same, I think David is homeless, you guys. And he's tired of being homeless because when you're homeless, you got to find a way to eat, a way to drink, a way to use a restroom, you know, stuff to the necessities of life, you know, the, like the Lion King. <laughs> Anyways, I think he did it on purpose because I thought he was on something, you guys, but I, I, I guess he's not. And he did it on purpose because he's tired of living in the streets, you guys, and it's understandable. I've I seen cases, I, I seen videos where people assault the police officers just so they can go to jail and have everything they need, and even though they're living in, in, in what you call a small space, and they get the little lifting the weights and all that stuff, you know, keep you in shape, uh, it's better for them to be in the streets, which is sad, man, it's, it's sad. Actually, I seen a video about a guy talking about that, the highest uh, people in Japan that are incarcerated are elderly people. Because they're committing robberies for little things, man. Because in Japan, they don't play. You know, you go steal a little bracelet, they give you five years in prison. Um, and they do it because they have n no way to live. So it's, it's kind of, if that's, the, if that's the case, that's kind of sad, all right? It's kind of sad, man. It's, but I mean, I mean, we don't know why they're in the streets, right? Maybe they're in the streets because they don't want to work. Maybe in the streets because something happened to them in their life and they just gave up, you know? It just got hard. Still, man. Police officers ain't got to be going through all that brutality. You know how there's police brutality. That is really what it is now. Brutality of police. But anyways, let's get on back to the video and see what this biker gang or biker guy or whatever is doing. Before, officers initiated a pursuit for a red, white Honda CRF motorcycle displaying various equipment violations and erratic driving. But the rider fled recklessly. After abandoning the chase, the officers decided to set up surveillance at the known address of the suspect and attempted to apprehend him. Stop! 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 You're gonna get shot! Don't stop! Oh, 
four officers back. Put your, back. Back. Put, put your hands behind your back now. Oh, Do it now. All right, damn. Stop resisting. All right, I'm not running. Chill. Stay back. Right. Stay back. Stay back. All right. Stay back. All right, relax. I'm on the Stay there, bro. Stay there. Jeez. Second subject talking to my partner, 687. We're at the rear of 325 West Dale. 325 West Dale. You loosen it a bit. Nah, bro. Two fingers, bro. The male was tackled while attempting to flee. The accompanying officer tried to apprehend the rider of a black Harley Davidson, which was also involved in the earlier pursuit, but the rider had successfully fled again. Uh, look, look, man, if you're trying to attempt to do any criminal activities like this, guys, right here, don't forget. I'm just trying to give you the tips, okay, Ben? Because it ain't like you can take off your license plate or anything. But don't forget that if you're in your vehicle or your bike, there's a license plate, okay? And when they run that, it, it lets them know where you stay. <laughs> Unless you no longer understand the address, then, uh, you know, then it's kind of tough for them. But uh, eventually, you probably still in the same place, you know? <laughs> Seems the rents are pretty high nowadays. And for you to go move to another house is kind of tough, you know? If you're paying cheap, you want to stay in that that residence. Now, you guys, um, that guy was not thinking that well when he got tackled. And he said, I'm not running. Well, of course you're not running because they already got you. You know, you're on the floor. <laughs> Where are you going to run to? <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to point that out, okay? Because, I mean, he did confess for when he said, I'm not running, okay? Because he ran before. Now, the other one with the Hardy Dravenson, I guess they still got to look for him. Now, I'm not thinking, you guys, you know, there's some type of bikes that you want to try to get away. I'm not trying to give tips or nothing, but there's some type of bikes that you might want to use to get away. You know, like uh, Yamaha or something like that. But don't look, man. Like, you know, like War 50 or something at least. Or I don't know. Uh, but don't try to do it on a dirt bike, okay? And <laughs> them things make a lot of noise. So even if you think you're going to get away from the cops, they're going to hear you like two blocks away. Oh, yeah, we lost him. But hey, never mind. He's on the right side. I can hear him, you know? Go get him, Johnny. <laughs> or something. I'm just saying, man. Because over here, man, people be driving these dirt bikes in the street and they're out. I'd be like, Why? Why they're off road things? Go 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 on the dirt, man. What? Okay, enough of that. I'm trying. I'm done complaining about their bikes, you guys. Anyways, so what you thought about these people, man? Well, oh, thought they were smart, huh? Put a trap and they fell for it. What are you what reaching for it? back here, dude? Huh? What were you reaching for? What are you talking about? When you went for the bike, you reached out for something. What are you I didn't reach for it. He was reaching for the kickstand. Oh, the kicker. Uh, Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Oh, the incident resulted in minor injuries for the 21 year old suspect and an officer alejandra was charged with fleeing or attempting to elude a peace officer resisting or obstructing peace officer and all other traffic offenses youtube thinks you'll love the video on screen click to watch now <laughs> well, Alejandro uh, learned a lesson today, you guys. You can't run away from the police. I don't know if they ever caught the other one in the Harley Davidson, but uh, not Alejandro, man. He's known now. <laughs> Hopefully, he stops doing what he's doing, man. And, uh, you know, lives a peaceful life away from the peace officers. You know, you can peace. 
<laughs> you know, okay, man, I'm done. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button. It really helps this video and channel out. Also, let me know down in the comments what you, what you thought about these two videos. I can't even talk right now, man. For some reason, I'm feeling thirsty. Yep. Anyways, yeah. Want to watch another video? You can watch this right here or this playlist, and I will see you next time. Bye.